Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stealing 33 Plays Hollow Knight. My name is Stealing 33, and today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've been informed that I had the right idea, wrong location, for two things. Um, and we're going to handle both of them today. That's our plan for today, and hopefully we'll be able to make that happen. Let me just quickly reduce my audio level here a little bit. Now, I'm a little too spicy. I like being spicy, but... Not that spicy. That's that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. All right, let's get on with it a little bit here. Hopefully, we'll be able to make some good shit happen. I don't know how we ran out of geo. I have zero geo, but I I'm like I'm not dead. I don't remember biting it multiple times in a row at any point. So I don't know why we have no like literally no geo. I thought we had a couple thousand geo, but. Perhaps I was incorrect. Yes. So, I've discovered that um, through a combination of being informed that I was in the right place, wrong t wrong idea. Uh, our pure vessel has ascended. While Ion lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter this place no longer. Yes, but I will. Because this is where we use the King's Brand. As you can see, because the door has the King's Brand on it. Um... After being informed about it, I kind of poked I poked around a little bit independently, and I noticed that that door had the King's Brand on it. I have not poked around to try to find where, um, where perhaps the, uh, the beehive is, but I was told that it's a breakable wall, which means that we're just going to hit everything in the other area. This feels very foreboding. Ow. As I descend, there's it gets more and more foreboding as we go down. Get some geo here, I guess. All right, so wait, how do I? I want to do this and then up. Oh, okay, come on, we can make that jump. That's a tricky jump, but we can make it. There we go. Not that I needed to do that. I could have just simply gone around, but hey, okay. Let the sparky bugs do their job. Bring me the geo that we've assembled a little bit here. Nothing there, huh? There's probably a lot of things that I'm just, like, not seeing. A lot of, like, secrets and little geo caches all over the place that I could be obtaining. Ow. But I'm also mostly interested in just descending and seeing what's down below. The Abyss. Interesting. The number of skulls that look like my skull down here is concerning, I guess is the word I'm going to use. I hope I'm going the right way. Everything's getting very uniform over here. Right? In fact, the other way, then. Yep. Now. Back the other way, then. Friendly, we don't have whatever we needed for that area over there, so... Just keep slamming my face into this. Into the walls and stuff. Just trying to move a little bit faster. What the fuck is that? Well, that's horrible. I don't like that at all. Could you not, though? Could you not, though? Oh, like the weird, like, dark rumble down here is not great. There are many shades down here. Apparently, there's a lot of regret down here. Well, it appears that they continually respawn. Something I'm going to need to be aware of. Luckily, they appear to be fairly innocuous, I guess is the best way to put it. They're not particularly dangerous. 
They're super easy to avoid. Yeah, they're like super easy to avoid, and they're not very tough. Maybe I did, that must have done something outside, right? Made the water calm. Okay, so it lets me go this way. Interesting. I probably could have just crystal bursted across that, to be completely honest. I don't know if I needed to turn on that light at all, but I think we did that in the right order. This place is spooky. Ugh. Right, well, we can't go that way. We can't touch the can't touch the tentacles. We learned that earlier. Ah, uh, yes. Darkness. My favorite bath. Absorb the shade cloak. RT is to dash forward, cloaked in shadows. Use the cloak to dash through enemies and their attacks without taking damage. Ooh, okay. That's pretty interesting. Oh! Interesting. I can use that to dodge now. Can I only do it so much? Oh, okay. So it's got a, it's got a recharge time. I see. Okay, interesting. You know what, actually, let's. That's interesting. That'll actually make the Colosseum a little bit easier. I'd like it noted that I 100% could have crystal burst it across that without using that light at all, unless the tentacles like reached up and grabbed me. Which case, less good, but. How intriguing. I wonder if that lets us get past the darkness then. If you guys remember, there was like that darkness zone from before that we saw. Um, it was over by the Coliseum, I think. We're exploring a little bit because I do there's probably more stuff here that I'm just not seeing. I'm also less interested in maybe I'm less interested in like exploring this than maybe I should be. Like we need the geo but there's also like a huge area to cover so I'm not terribly interested in in that. Actually, now that I'm thinking about that dash would be very useful because there are so many times where like I'll do that like as like a natural tendency to try to dodge A deep blue stone atop a dais Interesting, okay, I guess it's good to know that that's there I guess I'm sure that there's more stuff for us to explore here But I'm not certain how much I want to, how much time I want to invest into that. I'm sure if there's something important, we'll find out about it later. Like I'm sure that door is important somehow. Oh, hello. Ghost, I see you faced the place of your birth and now drape yourself in the substance of its shadow. Though our strength is born of similar source, that part of you, that crucial emptiness, I do not share. Funny then. That such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice I can create. Prolong our world's status, or face the heart of its infection. Actually, was not what I wanted to do. Wanted to talk to her again. I'd urge you to take the harder path. But what end may come, the decision rests with you. Is that it? I mean, listen, I want to take whatever the hardest path is, is the path that I'm interested in. Because I'm pretty certain that that'll lead us to completing this 100% here. Now, I'm trying to think about areas where the Shade Cloak would be useful. Obviously, the Coliseum and any combat we get into, it'll be very useful. Um, 
I wonder if uh, White Knight guy will wake up now that I have the Shade Cloak power. What do you guys think? Yes? No? Probably not, right? Like, it's probably going to end up being one of those things that, like, I need to, like, get the full charge, like, the full power of the Dream Nail, maybe, or something. Cut through the... Get the wind scar, the backlash wave of the of the dream nail. We would need the red tetsaiga for that though. That ain't happening. I have to fight demons for that. Alright, well, for starts. Where is Where is that area? There was a place where we couldn't get past it because of that weird darkness. It's up there? No, I don't think it was up there. Where was it? Don't remember. Ah, right there. Right, right there. Um, dead center of the screen. That's where it was. So let's go back up towards that. That'll we'll hit the. We'll see if we can find our way into the beehive or not. And then if we can find our way into the beehive, great. Um, if we can't, we'll go there instead and see if we can shadow dash through that weird, like the weird, um, the weird darkness. If we can, great. And we've learned something and we'll have somewhere else we can go. If we don't, oh well. But we've got the King's Crest. we got the cool Shadow Dash power, which, I'm going to be honest, might be very useful. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm a little sneezy today. It's dusty in my apartment. i got to do some spring cleaning. I think. Being cooped up in the apartment all winter. Not a bad time to kill some of the dust here, eh? All right, I was told that I was in the right area before. And that I I don't think it I don't think it's here. Like this seems a little too obvious. I'm thinking it has to be up here. And apparently it's behind a smashable wall. So It's not there. So it's obviously It's not there. All right. I was told it was behind a smashable wall. Maybe it's inside of this hive then. Maybe it's in here somewhere. We were doing really well for a second there. here. I don't know what that's for. I'll figure it out. There's only so many places this thing could be, right? Alright, that there. Nope. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I could look it up. Like, yeah, maybe I maybe I should at this point. I'm just trying to think about like where, where could it possibly be? Um, hold on, let's just let's just look it up. Hollow Knight Beehive. How do I get in? Show me. Uh, continue right uh, oh oh okay okay I see it it is let me just pop back up my recording real quick I just like to make sure it's running it also keeps me from getting distracted by like stuff on the internet 
I was wrong. It's definitely in the most obvious place, which is over here. Um, there's apparently a smashable wall somewhere over here. Ah. It's in, like, the middle of this room. off of something. Did you see that? I bounced off of something up there. I mean, like, I need, like, a direct picture of, like, where the hell it is I'm supposed to go. Is there a crack in the wall over here somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Apparently, the smashable wall is over here somewhere. Normally, the normally when something is like breakable, there's like a place for me to stand next to it. Well, let me take a look at this picture again. Um, mm. Entrance is there behind a breakable wall. Oh. Interesting location for it. I would have never guessed that. Not in a hundred years. It's apparently in the chamber below this room. <laughs> That's interesting. I, you know what? Actually, I guess after if I had been given enough time to think about that, I might have figured that out after a while. It's apparently in this room somewhere. Ah, I see it. I'm like standing. I'm like on it right now. Yeah, there we go. I had to figure that out eventually. I like to assume. I like to hope that I had to figure that out eventually. Man could dream. But we found it. Ow. Oh, he's full of bees. The only thing that sucks is that these little bees don't give... Don't give Geo when they die. Yes, bring me the Geo. This will refresh our Geo cache. For the long winter to come. We're mostly here because it's the only area in the game I haven't been to. Although, apparently, this is, like, completely, like, a side thing. Like, there's... You don't need to come here. That's why it's so well hidden. Which I kind of like, because that's kind of dope. I normally... I don't like looking things up, but this was driving me nuts, and I wanted to do this today. <laughs> yeah, it's exploded into bees. Explode into Dr. Bees! You guys ever watch Harry Partridge? Love that guy. A great animator. Whoa! Hey! Be fucking cool, dude! Holy shit! Alright, you a scary dude. Hardcore parkour. Whoa! It's extremely exhilarating to dodge those attacks, but they are also quite spooky. We need, what, um, like 100 and 150 more dream essence for the next upgrade? Is that like 700 or something like that? I will say this. 
At least the little bees do give me soul lessons when I when I smash them real hard. Not a lot, but it's a decent amount. Oh. There we go. The bees are huge though, man. Big and scary. As I feel like they should be. I feel like bees are probably among the most dangerous insects we've come across. It's been basically, what, beetles? Mantises are pretty deadly, I think. Like, I'd make an argument that, like, mantises are probably pretty scary. And they were scary in-game as well. Like, I'm talking, and from, like, a bug's perspective, right? Like, I'm very clearly, like, some kind of beetle. So, like... Maybe it's not the deadliest creatures on the planet for, like, a human, right? But I'm a very clearly a little beetle. So bees would make sense. Mantises make sense. I'm glad these things die in, like, three hits. Because they would be very, very much scarier if they took, like, four or five hits. The bouncing bees are actually kind of a nightmare. Just because they, they, they move really fast for something their size. Not to mention they're huge. Which is always, like, kind of scary. I'm glad we don't have to fight these things in the arena. That would be annoying. I have trouble with anything that's big and moves really fast. Like we're definitely 100% in a hive, so, I mean, I'm thinking the queen's got to be in here somewhere, right? Like, what's a hive without the queen bee? I hear a mask shard somewhere. I need to get one of them to crash into it. Is there a big bee nearby? There is one big bee nearby. Ow. The little bees are going to be the death of me because I can't see them very well. They are much, much harder to see than the other bees. Come, Big B. Do it right here. Oh, come on. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Big B. Highly useful mask fragment. I really hope I didn't need both of those. After that, that would have been... Real embarrassing. I mean, we can't leave yet. There's got to be a bee boss, right? Like, I I'm looking forward to, like, a queen bee fight or something like that. Give me something cool, man. I also really need to make use of the fact that I can dash through enemies now. Just smash that in one hit with the death the, the death of Dogen. Good to know. I suppose that's not the best solution in case there's a boss fight coming up here, huh? Small thing, I know you're kind. If you attempt to resolve your past, then know that I am not the queen you seek. It is the pale being that bears blame for your nature. Though this hive exists within Hollow Nest, we play no part in its attempt at perpetuation. To rail against nature is folly. All things must accept an end. Well, I got a single dream hit, so... Cool, I guess? What is this? Hive blood. Is that a... That it is. It is a notch. Gold nugget of hives precious hard nectar. Heals the bear's wounds over time, allowing them to regain health without focusing soul. 
Wow, that is really good. Holy crap. At four notches, that's a bit expensive, but um, that's still really good. I mean, definitely on board with that. I'm glad we came over here because, Jesus, I almost left. Like a fool I would have been. A fool, I say. Flappy flap my wings and fly away. Gonna do full shadow dashes every day. Gotta get used to incorporating it into my combat strategy. It's probably relevant. It's probably relevant. Don't mind me, I'm just singing while I fly around in here. <laughs> or you can like totally mind me. Like if you have like an issue with the way that I sing, please let me know. <laughs> I don't think I'm a good singer, mind you, but I also don't think I'm that bad either, to be completely honest. There are definitely much worse singers on the internet than me. Right. What's over here? So many bees, man. So many buzzy little bees. Fuzzy little bees. Awesome. Well, that was a fun distraction. I, I had fun. And we got a cool new trinket. It depends on the... Depending on the speed that that regenerates HP at, that might be one of the best trinkets... Or one of the best notches in the game. Like, straight up might be one of the best notches in the game. Alright. Well, with that out of the way... And one mystery solved... Let's go... Uh, we've been going for like a little while. Let's go to the bench that's across the way here. And the next episode we'll start exploring stuff that maybe we can dash through with like the shadow damage and stuff. We're gonna hit that thing like immediately. Yep. There we go. A little bit better. I think I'm, like, remembering where this bench leads to. Or where this bench is, rather. Yeah, depending on the speed that, um... The hive blood notch regenerates you at. Like, if it's, like, once every, like, 30 seconds, like, that's a lot of time. But I, I find myself... It's not that difficult for me to avoid taking damage. It is very difficult for me to avoid taking damage and recover HP at the same time, right? So... Overall, it's not that bad for me to try to, like... If I can just avoid taking damage, we're good, right? It also frees up the souls for me to perhaps use them offensively. Do things like do ground pounds and... All that jazz that I've been meaning to do. Yeah, that seems like highly effective. Especially against like multiple enemies, it'll probably even be more effective. But it also makes me immune to damage for a little while, which I think is nice. If I can land it, that or get it off, that is. I'm gonna hide over here. You just hang out. All right, later, nerd. All right, we're gonna rest here, and I'm gonna take off some of these things. See if we can free up four notches for hive blood. Let's get fucked up a little bit and see if we maybe we can. Let's see how long this takes to regenerate, huh? Do you think that's per thing? Like... So it definitely heals them one at a time. Now, here's the real question. If I get hit while it's regenerating, does it reset the regeneration? Right, so that, that one's hardened. Oh. Okay, so that's less good than I thought it was going to be.
Let's let's do a test. Hit me. Okay. We gotta wait for it to get to like stage two. Alright, so it does reset it. Alright. Good to know. Um, and it only resets the last hit that I had, right? So it never it'll never fully regenerate me, which makes this worse than I thought it was gonna be, and also slightly false advertising. Um it's still pretty good, I think. But it's less good than I thought it was gonna be. I gotta figure out how to repair these. I'm pretty sure I just take them back to that notch lady and she repairs them. Right, hold on a minute. I gotta test something else. Hold on, hold on. I know we're, we're like extending the video by another like three minutes, but I need to know if it actually is not. Like, I don't, I can't regenerate that last bit of health or not. I just need to get hit a couple times, and then we'll find out. Well, it also makes me immune to bees, so... We got that going for us as well. Like, maybe it just takes a little while for it to, like, start up the second one. I'm immune to bees now. Ow. Yeah, I guess it does not doesn't work the way I thought it did, which is kind of a kind of sad because I wanted it. I was really looking forward to perhaps getting through the full challenge a lot easier by having regenerating HP. But... Oh well. It's not that big of a deal, I suppose. I wonder if there's a second way into the hive from over here. Probably not, right? I mean, I guess it's still useful, but at four notches, four notches is fairly expensive for something that doesn't regenerate me all the way, right? Like, because, like, what can I put on for four notches otherwise? Like, I could put on Stalwart Shell to get more iframes. I could put on this thing, which is, like, the enhanced version of that one, which I suppose only really costs two notches. Like, I could put on, like, so many more... I mean, I guess I don't really have that many good notches. Oh, well. Uh, it's not bad. We'll probably keep it on for while we're exploring and stuff, because it is pretty nice. Like, as long as I don't get hit three or four times in a row, it's not a huge deal. The amount of times that I'm, like, at one HP missing is high, so it's not, like, I'm not sweating it too much. Uh, but for now, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, let me know. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date. I want to post more videos. If you really like what you saw, leave a like helps the channel grow helps me out a great deal but of course with that thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video bye